Hey guys, this week on the Awesome Cast, I got glass on my face. Uh, we talk about paper airplanes being uh, controlled a little bit. Then we talk about more glass, because eh, it was a pretty big week. And it's on my face! All this and more, Awesome Cast. This edition of Awesome Cast is brought to you by PittsburghOnVideo.org. Check out the best videos from Pittsburgh all in one place. PittsburghOnVideo.org. Want to have your business or podcast featured on the show? Contact us at info at sorgatronmedia.com. Subject line, advertising. Hey guys, it's the Awesome Cast 158. We'll see if we can start this show with anybody calling my face. Yes, that's been happening. I got something on there. We'll talk about it in a little bit. Uh, but I'm Mike Sorg here in the studios in Pittsburgh, PA with me. He's at home because we were sheltering from the storm and weren't sure if we're even going to have power for tonight's show. It's Anthony Walker, at Shachi says on the Twitter, insert coin to begin, <laughs> insert coin to begin dot com. How you doing? I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Why? I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm doing well. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I didn't get hit with the storm. Um, so, yeah, good call. And here you are. And here good you call. are. Uh, well, yeah, well, we were out of power when you were, like, on your way over. I was like, yeah, yeah, maybe you should go home just in case this doesn't come back. Yeah, uh, I was waiting at the uh, the train station for a lift. And, yeah, it was just... Uh, not happening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, we, it, it was interesting because I was starting to think, like, okay, if this power goes out, what can we do for the podcast? And I'm starting to think, who is the nearest friend that might have power and internet and we could just do this on Hangout? You know, <laughs> I mean, we're to that point, right? Like, I don't need all this stuff, right? I, uh, I mean, have to, you know, I mean, you guys are already on Hangout. Is we're, we're recording, you know, your feeds over to YouTube just as a backup. Uh, just so I have them, and just that idea that we can just like, well, let's just go do it. You know, we're going to test that when we have a uh, SmackDown here in town, and we have the Mayhem guys go do a show by themselves that aren't here in Pittsburgh. So uh, I think that'll be a good test in September. And uh, Wait, can the, you do that? What? Can I, do I don't what? think you should let them run the show. <laughs> I think well, it's not the first time because the guy with us he ran a show all by himself one time when we did something like that. Mad Mike uh, yeah, from did. over on uh, Re- uh, WrestlingMayhemShow dot com. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fantastic. I, I, I recovered from my trip to the something headquarters, and I'm feeling fabulous. The something headquarters? <laughs> the something headquarters. All right, we'll talk about that. Uh, again, this is the Awesome Cast. Uh, we're over at uh, uh, sorgatronmedia.com, all the episodes, past episodes for this. Uh, you can drop us a line at contact at awesomecast.com. Or talk with us on Google+, Facebook, or at AwesomeCast on Twitter. Uh, we'd like to talk about geeky things on there. And, and follow our Twitters, too. I'm at Sorgatron, uh, at Charger says at Mike 4883 on the Twitters as well. You'll see it here on the screen if you're on video. Uh, please go like us, subscribe to us, share us with your friends over on... Uh, we're on iTunes, Blip TV. Uh, we're on the Roku box via the Blip TV app. We're on YouTube, so go subscribe uh, there so you don't miss an episode of what we're doing or anything else we put out. Uh, from Sorgatron Media as well. Uh, so in the meantime, so let's talk about awesome thing of the week. Maybe we should talk about the thing on my face. Um, <laughs> this past week, of course, you know, I, I got I got inducted into the Google Explorer program, uh, which meant a trip to New York City. I got to tell you guys, I was really close to not doing this one. Um, kind of weighing the 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 you know importance of it, you know, and and. and uh, uh, and we we dove into it. I met up with Mike up there, and uh, we went up to uh, well. So we were. It's actually across the street from the Google offices, right, Mike? I, I think you know the area a little better than I do. Yeah, it's about a block or so away from the Google headquarters, but mm-hmm. they had really nice uh, setup in the Chelsea uh, Market, mm-hmm. and it was really kind of weird. It felt like you were kind of walking into a matrix. <laughs> Why is that? Like, like, well, like the Matrix loading screen from the movie where it's like, it was very white walls. Like, I almost wanted to say, like, machine guns. And, and I would ap- imagine that Morpheus and a row of machine guns would just appear right alongside of me. You're just not used to being in a place so clean. Well, maybe a place so white. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, didn't you used to work in a clean room? 
I work in a clean room, but it's really not that clean. That's just a figurative term, right? And to, 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 to clarify, like Mike here, he's worked in like IBM and and what was it? is it chip fabrication you were involved with? Yes. So I mean, yeah, I worked in a in a fabrication lab up in Trishfield, New York, and they help make like chips for a whole bunch of different phones and video game systems and things like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so. Yeah, it was really kind of felt like it, 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 and I've seen pictures kind of lead into this. It, like Mike, Mike, Mike said that I didn't seem too like amazed by everything as I was doing. I was like, I, I did a lot of research and I saw a lot of what was going to be happening. Um, but uh, yeah, it really felt very Apple. The whole the whole kind of setup, um, even like to the point of like the packaging and everything, kind of felt like like kind of out appled apple with this kind of thing and i don't know if this is one of those things where it, it, you know obviously you know it's a pretty big deal we got to go there uh and they sat with an hour for an hour with us uh because i had a lot of kind of frustration trying to figure out how this thing works around my glasses and everything um and i just activated something uh you know it it, it does get a little bit to get used to and uh you know be Luckily, as I've been going, it's been kind of getting easier and easier to like put it on somebody else. Like I'll put it on their face because I know where it should roundabout line up. Uh, even people with glasses a little bit, and uh, it's been a, it's been a little easier to kind of just kind of pass that along, right? Uh, uh, Mike, you got you, you got to see uh, a, a little bit of like the setup and everything. I know we did a little bit of test there with Hangout, right? Right in the facility, right? Yes, um, that was. Because I have like um, I have an iPad Mini, so when we were there, I jacked into their Wi-Fi and um, sort of was able to start a hangout with me, and I was able to do the hangout on my iPad, and it, I pointed the iPad towards him, so it was kind of like Hangoutception mm -hmm. because it was it was you watching the hangout, watching the hangout, watch you. <laughs> It was very weird. But it was a lot it was of fun. Really pretty interesting. Yeah, it was a lot of fun though. Um, and that was kind of like their first kind of like we're sitting there and we're, I'm kind of getting used to it, and she's kind of like, you know, answering my questions and everything. I was like, Ooh, let's try this because I'm like, hang out, something that we use all the time, right, guys? I mean, we use it there, you know, Monday nights every Monday night. I actually couldn't get it working last night, but again, you know, this is kind of really buggy at this point. I'm getting a lot more crashes uh, a few days into this now. Chachi was the first one to crash it, actually. <laughs> Oh, 10 seconds in, I crashed the crap out of that thing. <laughs> That's right. Well, we, we were on our way to wrestling. Uh, well, this was before... Well, first off, you don't treat me like normal people. That's probably true. If, if you get technology, you don't give me an explanation. You just hand it to me and see what I do. Yeah. So instead of trying to put it on my face while we were riding in the car, he just hands it to me. Doesn't say anything. He's just like, here. Well, apparently I loaded the camera before I knew how to load the camera. And and I don't think you did anything wrong, though, because it, like, it sounded like you just hit the button at the top, right? And for those who don't see, there's like, there's a little button here, and that's the camera button. Like, like you have once, I took a picture, you hold it down, and yeah, you're taking a little bit of video. Now, what he had done is... And I, I'm actually taking this now, and I'll, I'll put it up on my Google Plus here during the show, or maybe even actually I'll probably tweet it here, uh, give you an idea. So, but apparently you held it down, kind of looking for everything, and it got loaded into the video, but it didn't go anywhere, right? Right. So, uh, but but there's been plenty of crashes since then, especially when I've handed it to other people. I want to point out, I did not crash it. You did not crash it. No, no. However, yeah, but you also didn't find the. Uh, completely 3d image of the google glass team that's right tell them about that um well a after after wrestling we, w we go to denny's and that was a much better environment for me to uh play with the glass in um i got more hands-on with it and i started looking around and I, i'm a nerd so i went to the development information i went to the device information i you know i checked it out and uh <clears throat> On what was it? Uh, the legal information or on yeah, device info? Yeah, on device info, I noticed that when you touch the uh, sensor pad, um, it made a different tone, mm -hmm. and it was playing. It was playing piano scales, is what it was doing. Um, and so I kept going. I just kept playing the piano, 
and eventually it says uh, it pops up with a thing that says meet the team. Mm-hmm. And what it does is it loads a completely uh, 3D uh, interactive image of the Google Glass team. And by 3D, I mean you spin and you see a different part of the team. You look up, you see the ceiling, you look down, you see the guy's feet. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't get to tell you that. Uh, we Because I was worried you could take it off, you know, usually a resets back to the home screen. Uh, mm-hmm. We discovered as we were sitting there at Buffalo Wild Wings Sunday night, and we had a great, you know, big table. We had we had a lunchbox, we had Dutters, we had a, we had everybody there, Bobby FJ Town. And uh, we put it on that and just kept passing it down <laughs> to watch everybody's reaction. Some of them hadn't put it on yet. So that nice. was the first thing that you got to see is the 3D. And you see the whole, like, oh, there's people behind me thing, which is, like, the thing you started with, right? Right. Um, and that is, like, and, and I haven't found anything else with this as cool as that. And, but but just that idea that that exists, that kind of function exists. Uh, Mike, we saw the idea that, you know, your map, yeah, I haven't been able to do maps because I don't have an Android device, uh, but the, the idea that you turn your head and the map moves. You know, just that was that was really cool, especially like in a place like New York City. You kind of need something like that. Exactly. I mean, well, we got lost, you know, kind of going to the place. We're like, oh, it's this way. No, it's this way. You know, I mean, that first like <laughs> half block, you kind of question it, right? So, um, but uh, but yeah, it, I mean, that that's that's been kind of the coolest thing with it. It's just kind of like you know, obviously, there's stuff that's like not completely fleshed out with this thing they're still kind of figuring out how to work with it there were some big changes just from the version that was loaded on when i got it to when you know i accidentally uh loaded it and almost crashed the thing at dinner an hour later uh (laughs) uh so that was an interesting experience Uh, i'm still not entirely convinced you didn't cause that flood that's true, because a lot of bad things happened. Well, for, well, well, first what happened was I plugged it into a battery we had, like one of those little like, cheap kind of Duracell rechargeable uh, phone helper things. And uh, and she said, like, yeah, when you plug this in, it might, it might start loading the update when you're on Wi-Fi and everything. Uh, you know, don't unplug it because you could brick it. Like, she did explicitly tell me that. Um, so <laughs> somebody's tweeting me in distraction. Thank you for that. Um, that was me. That was you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to see how quickly it would come up in your face. <laughs> um, I actually got to double check. I might not be on Wi-Fi down here. I might be off a little bit. No, I got Wi-Fi data because I didn't see it pop up there. Um, oh, you know what? You're um, you're you got to block Twitter, so that might pop up. Might not pop up right away for me. So, oh, um, but we're sitting there and it starts plugging, and I, I put I put it on my face. Like I'm like, oh wait, I want to do something, and I plugged it, put it on my face, and there was like a loading screen and a little bar, and I'm like, well. Is this the shutdown screen? I don't know what this is. And then I waited and I waited and I waited some more. Dinner came. Uh, we were like at TGI Fridays down by Rockefeller Center. And uh, eventually it started like popping up a bunch of text. And I'm like, oh, this is all right. You know, because it looked like Linux. And then it bumped up a bunch of prompts. I saw one was re- reboot the device. So I did a hard reset and everything was cool. Then the ceiling started flooding behind us. <laughs> I think it's Mike's fault because uh, he he actually came out of the bathroom right when it was uh, kind of flooding there. Uh, uh, so. Did you have to pay? Uh, no, we did have to pay. Uh, it wasn't flooding in our section, thankfully. So um, then we had a run in with the fire department who are looking for another emergency involving fire uh, on our way out. Uh, oh, the fire department's looking for something to do with fire. Well, there's sometimes the flooding and damage or something <laughs> like that. So I, I, I didn't know. So, somebody had to do something, right? Welcome uh, to obvious cast. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it, 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 and Mike, you got to uh, have your first experience, and I know you were entertaining the family. Uh, of, of looks like they weren't. They were a, a bit of out of country, uh, beside us. Oh yeah, the, like we didn't get you didn't get many odd looks when you were walking around the rest of the city. Yeah. But in the restaurant, there are people next to us and behind us who are very, they're intrigued because they didn't know what was going on. Mm-hmm. And especially because you put it in guest mode on my face. And it was like when you buy a wallet and it comes with pictures of a family that's not yours. <laughs> so I was seeing, I was seeing a random, um, I believe he was Asian 
Asian guy with a message that says, hey, can't wait to have dinner with you later. <laughs> and then and then I scrolled over, and there was information on Jellyfish. Yep, and a video. And nice. a video. So I read the information on Jellyfish aloud because, you know, who doesn't like a little knowledge with their dinner? Because I didn't realize – I, I put them in a guest mode. I didn't realize what it did. I just I thought it just kind of deactivated all the, all the sharing features so you didn't do anything weird. Uh, but I, apparently it has an entire placeholder thing. So I started saying, Mike, tell me what you see. And he started describing the Asian man with the faux hawk and the jellyfish and the uh, and the weather in Monterey. So Yes, that, there, that was really funny. I, I was very intrigued by it. That was the first – because we didn't have um, the Wi-Fi there because you were charging it up. But later yeah. in the diner, I actually got to see it with the Wi-Fi. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So – um and uh yeah we got some we got some pics and stuff from up on rockefeller center we we hung out in times square uh i got some stuff from the mega bus on the way up, away across uh pennsylvania uh so you know that was a lot of fun here's mike pointing at the at the the empire state oh, building, for instance I, I also want to point out that every time you tweet a picture from from the uh glass the it hashtags through glass yes so I, of course, had to make the joke when we were up on the top of the Rockefeller Center. You can put your hand through the glass window. Oh, she's so, doing there. Yeah, so I said, hey, look, sword, through glass. <laughs> and it was hysterical. So um, now, Chachi, you got to try it out Saturday. Um, I, I know you had a kind of a different opinion of it. I, I think, I think it, you, you were more positive towards, towards the end of the night. What, what did you think of it? Um, it's an interesting concept. Mm -hmm. um, this whole paying to be part of a special club, though, um, especially at this stage of the device, yeah, not really down with that. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it was, it was a hard decision. What's that? It was definitely a hard decision. Yeah, um, I, I still don't know how you convinced the wife to let you do it. Oh, she was down with it. Yeah, I, I. It's I thought it would be dude, a bigger fight. It's a, it's, um, a tight, it's a tax write-off as long as I write about it, all right? And I have but, it on uh, the show and everything, so. Yeah, you know, it, it's not a bad device. Yeah. Um, it's just, at this stage, it's not really worth it. Is it really? I mean, and it, 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 not for that price, and I really don't think it's going to be the same price, uh, uh, you know, coming out. It's not going to be over $1,000. I think it's going to be, I, I, I really think that sweet spot is going to lean towards, it's going to be, Three hundred to five hundred dollars for something like this in the long run. I mean, do, do you see that being a little more viable? Obviously, this is. Yeah, I mean, this is only going to get better. You have how many developers going with it? Uh, you know, I, I was. I'm starting to play with a little more of glassware apps, is what they're calling things. Um, there's some interesting concepts in there. Some you can't get to right now because some of them are kind of invite only and everything. Um, I, I mean, do you see this? Like, you know, give this time, give this six months a year to kind of smooth over. Uh, remember how rough the iPhone was when it first came out? How Android was when it first came out? Uh, I loved Android from the moment I got it. But still, I mean, admittedly, it's not as smooth as it was now. Like me, from my iPhone, I didn't really see what the big deal was coming from it. For instance, um, you know, it takes time for that to kind of flush out. And like now, I I love how stuff looks on Android. You know, right. I mean, think about it, it has that time and developers on it. You know, do you think this is going to be a viable thing? Maybe in about a year. Um. It, at two hundred dollars, um, I, I would buy it. Yeah. Um, at three hundred dollars, it better replace my cell phone. Yeah, yeah. And that was one thing they did tell me. They, they they said that yeah, you have to depend on Bluetooth through your phone or Wi-Fi or something like that. But eventually, they do want this to become independent. I, right. I'm thinking if not even not version one that's out to the public, at least version two maybe. Uh, I think you're just going to have this thing on your face all the time, might not even need to carry a cell phone. Um, I think just a little bit of an inter inter interface issue, though, right? Um, like, I was even listening to a use case today where they said, yeah, I have it on my face, I don't have my, I have my iPhone in my pocket, I see something come up, and then I go for my iPhone to respond to it. Because, I mean, you do have the issue, like, I'm sitting on, like, you know, the bus on the way home and realizing, like, how much I can and can't do playing with it, because I don't want to talk out loud to myself and bug half the bus to sleep. You know what I mean? Or, or you know, talking to yourself walking down the street. Now, granted, you know, people with Bluetooth kind of already do that. And that's kind of what this is, because it does also kind of replace your Bluetooth 
headset kind of thing because uh, the, the connection with your phone. I've, I've done a couple calls on it. I don't know if I do it all the time just yet, but uh, and one, I just like leave my Bluetooth on to suck down the power on my phone. So uh, uh, I can honestly say that if you have a problem talking to yourself in public, mm-hmm. um, this isn't the device for you. Oh, certainly not. Certainly no, not. Definitely not. So, um, but it, but yeah, I, on the Mega Bus, I'd have no freaking problem at all um, talking to myself the whole time. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, that's not it's not any different than someone having a conversation with the people they're with on the mega bus. True. It's not any different than someone having a phone call on the bus. Um, the only difference is, yeah, it doesn't look orthodox. Yeah, yeah. It's more like everybody's perception of what is going on here, you know? Um, and, and, and that's the thing. Uh, the reactions have been interesting. Uh, again, like, like Mike said, there was really was nobody even, I, I don't know if you know, I didn't, Anybody really giving me a second look? Well, I mean, you also have to remember it's New York City. Yeah, and that was I kind mean, of my take <laughs> on it. And they probably—I mean, even before you told me you were getting it, I had already seen someone with the glass on their face in a bar. Yeah, like I, I had seen it before. So I think the first time I saw it, I was a little like, "Oh, that must be that thing." But I mean, it—it it didn't really looked like completely out of place or anything. It wasn't like, oh my god, you hideous monster, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. It, it was just, you know, it, it's kind of like a Bluetooth with sunglasses. Or- yeah, yeah, it just looks like it's a little, it, it's like I have like a super Bluetooth headset or something, right? Yeah, pretty much. So, and, and there's, you know, how many people have gadgets and testing things in New York City all the time, you know, like, I guess you guys are used to it. Um, it's more like, like, you know, and it's been interesting, like, like a lot of like, what the hell is that? You know, since I've gotten back here, um, I had an interesting <laughs> conversation with the uh, manager over at Buffalo Wild Wings. We went for that pay-per-view Sunday night. First thing it comes out and says, is that, is that? And then like somebody called it and, and Missy explained like, you know, how I got and everything. And he first thing he says to me, and kind of half joking, he's like, you're not going to mess with my copyrights, are you? You know, kind of referencing that there's, you know the the camera on here and everything um so i'm like you know it's like no it's just like a cell phone and stuff you know it wouldn't even make sense to do that to begin with right um so i mean that went into a pretty big conversation i think he bumped us up in line to get a table too uh so that was nice uh so uh but but between that and like you know there's interesting conversation chachi you were with us at denny's uh when when the one lady went kind of nuts for it right yeah, I don't know if you had cut out yet or not. I, no, I was there when she started freaking out because it was glass. Yeah, yeah, and, and this is one thing I noticed. There's, there's one thread I was following when I was saying, you know, do you, have you noticed like servers like kind of being off Spanish on it and no, none of them asking about it? And I say, yeah, servers, servers. I like the ones serving me. I have a pro, like don't seem to say anything, but kind of look at it, you know. But anybody else, like a guy at Buffalo Wild Wings, stopped me. And wanted to try it on right then and there. I'm like, dude, I'm looking for my friends. Can you catch up with me later? You know, uh, so I, I think it kind of goes, you know, you know, kind of around to that. I, I, I was at a and, and even like I was at a meeting yesterday, and uh, we're kind of going around introducing ourselves. And I just said, hi, I'm so and so. Yes, that's a computer. I'm beta testing on my face, and nobody said anything. So you know, just kind of put that out there, you know, instead of it interrupting the conversation. Uh, so I. Uh, and, and I'm sure I, I heard somebody today, um, um, Andy Anako on the MacBreak po- po- uh, podcast. He said he was in Philadelphia for something, and somebody asked if anybody shot at him yet for invading their privacy with that thing on. And, I mean, I could see I could see that really <laughs> easily because because especially it's such a new technology. If you go taking pictures. Like with it on your head, yeah. People don't know what you're doing. Well, I think, even if you're even if yeah. you're not taking pictures, if you're surfing the web, yeah. People don't know what you're doing, and you're drawing attention. You're like, hey, he's playing with that device. Oh, hey, there's a camera lens on there. And we've talked about this before, kind of the expectation of privacy and everything. But it really is like it is that idea of like, hey, there is a camera pointed everywhere I look now, and I could be taking a picture. Um, you know, granted, the way that you take a picture now is either I have to either go like this, you know, and take a picture, and you see something flash on my screen, which you can probably see on my camera right there, um, and, or you have to say. You know, tap it, say, okay, glass, 
take a picture. And there you go. Um, there's not like a real kind of silent way to do it. And depending on how much is in the room, I didn't realize how much this chime shows up in a quiet room. I'm starting to hear it on the hangout we were doing uh, with the client uh, as I was getting tweets and stuff and kind of like, you know, futzing with it, waiting, you know, for the thing to be over. Um, so yeah, that, that's a quiet room. It, it's a quiet super room. quiet room. You're in walking our, around the city. Yeah. I didn't I didn't hear a mm -hmm. thing. And I'll to me, it's, I mean, it, it's a little quiet. Sometimes it's a little muffled. They say, like, kind of hold up the, your finger to your ear to kind of, uh, you know, get that get that sound a little bit louder. It's not really a volume control yet. Um, but I think, you know, I think that that whole, like, expectation of like, I could be taking pictures and whatever, like, all the time is a little kind of out there. Um, there are things I can jailbreak this, and somebody did write something. There's a wink function. If you notice, there's a little sensor right on the inside here, which seems to be the one that, that detects whether it's on my head or not. Um, and apparently they use that to do a wink function, and then it can quietly uh, take a picture or video or however they programmed it to do. Um, that could be a little more worrisome, and I can see certain things like they're not allowing facial recognition on this thing or, or, or things like that. Uh, until people get used to it. Because I think this is more of a social experiment than anything. Like, put them out in the wild and see what happens. So, uh... Whoop, sorry. And, uh, I, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. So, um... You guys have any qu comments or questions uh, so far from trying it out? Or anybody in the chat room? Uh, let me know. Yes, I'm not allowed to uh, strip bars anymore. Not that I've been there in I don't know how long. But, uh, but yeah, there's that other idea. Like, what happens when I go to a movie theater, you know? And I want to try it. Like, I'm going to walk in, you know, not saying anything. I want to get, like, the little shield thing. It looks like they were sold out so I can block the camera. So if anybody does say anything, I'm like, all right, here you go, you know? Um, or just put bring, try my, bring my bag to put it in or something like that that they gave me. Oh, don't go to a 3D movie. Don't go to a 3D movie? Oh, that would stink. It's bad enough with these glasses. You put those glasses over these glasses and then these... Uh, yeah, that's too many layers, right? You're going to get kicked out of movie theaters. I'm going to get kicked out of movie theaters? Yeah. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm still interested to see any ringside footage you may get from there. Yeah, well, we did do a little bit of... I did a little bit of POV of uh, working over at uh, RWA. We might see if Chachi will wear it maybe this weekend at ringside and see what we can get. Uh, what? What's that? I didn't hear what you said. Uh, we said we might might have you uh, put it on for a match down at uh, IWC this weekend at ringside and get a little bit of something. Uh, yeah, perhaps. we'll see. Um, or, or something like that. Uh, so I, I understand somebody did, because uh, I, I, I put out, I was like, this is the first pro wrestling on glass, and somebody did say that they uh, they, they did get a few things, like some stuff, uh, taking photos of ringside. They said they got it on somebody in the ring or something, but I, I, I haven't seen a confirmation on that or how they did that, so... Um, Plus, it's the internet, so I don't trust anything they say. Exactly, exactly. I almost like links or it didn't happen or something. Yeah, pics, so. pics or it didn't happen. Pics or didn't happen, man. Um, awesome. So, hey, Chachi, let's go to your awesome thing of the week. Um, my awesome thing of the week is less awesome compared to yours. Well. Um, but there's a company that is working on uh, making remote control, or not remote control, steerable I would say, uh, paper airplanes. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the thing is, uh, <laughs> the information isn't available to the public um, because this is something they're working on for the military. Mm -hmm. For the uh, military. It, so we can have paper drones. Right. Um, well, what, that's what they said. Uh, the thing is, uh, what, what they do is they would send uh, unmanned uh, aircraft over the area mm -hmm. um, and instead of a bomb or anything mm -hmm. um, in it what they would do is they would have hundreds of these inside and they would be set to do different things and deploy from there so I thought it was kind of cool I've been on a whole uh, remote controlled kick lately yeah so. you picked up a, a helicopter right it's a it's I don't know how to describe it. Um, it's called a UFO. Okay. Um, but it's not like it has. <laughs> it's, it's unidentified, kind of a, so you can't describe it. I get it. Well, it, it's like a hovercraft because it has uh, multiple fans on it blowing it up. Okay. Um, but it gets pretty far off the ground. Mm -hmm. 
um, I had this thing hugging Chris's ceiling um, the other day, nice. uh, Sunday. We were flying it up and down her hallway. Mm-hmm. So um, it is a mini helicarrier. What's that? So it is a mini helicarrier. Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I've been calling it the hovercopter because that's the best way I can describe it. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it was just interesting that they were using paper planes to, to make drones. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Because, I mean, we have, we have plenty of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Some cheap drones there. Um, awesome. And, Matt and Mike, what do, you, uh, what do you got for your awesome thing of the week? Um, I was just going to echo being able to have the internet on my face. Because mm-hmm. unlike you, I didn't do any research about it. Because I knew you were going to be the one getting it. So I'm like, once we go there, I'm sure you'll be able to tell me more about it that I can find just by looking up online. Yeah. But it was just really amazing. Like, especially, it worked everywhere we went in the city. Mm-hmm. Like, it worked in the subway. It worked. On the top of Rockefeller Center, it worked. It was phenomenal. Like I really wanted. I would wish you had stayed longer so we could like really do crazy POV videos, like going on the cyclone or the Wonder Wheel at Coney Island <laughs> or taking a cab ride or you know, just crazy POV videos. But mm-hmm. it was just really, like, really awesome. <laughs> Not to like belabor the word, but. <laughs> It was just really incredible. Yeah, yeah and- I don't know if I I don't know if I'd want it for me personally because I think I would get in trouble with that, especially if I was coming home from a bar or things of that nature. But it's definitely way it was way more innovative than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Do you, Do you see? I mean, what kind of question I asked Josh before? Do you see this kind of uh, coming out? Uh, kind of more figured out, but hopefully a little more streamlined probably by that point. Um, you know, seeing that as a, a pretty viable option. Um, I don't. It's a little difficult because I'm the kind of person who, when I reply to things, like I I like to use a lot of slang, yeah, and and things of that nature. And sometimes I think it might it might hurt like with how people speak. Yeah, because like yeah. you were saying, you have to be very direct and forceful when you're saying something; otherwise, it won't pick it up, or it'll come out differently. Like even you tried to tweet earlier this morning. I saw you were talking about the intern, and the glass tweeted in turn. Yeah, I, I know that too. To the one word, like there's definitely some bugs in the software. I think mm-hmm. I mean you know some things that need to be worked out, but it is. I think it could be very viable for a lot of people, like especially people who use Bluetooth. Yeah. It's just an extension of that. And, and it, it did dawn on me to start talking to it like I talked to Siri, and that seemed to, to work out a little more better, like a more poignant thing. Um, I noticed, I was watching a video of somebody demonstrating this uh, from a couple months ago, and they seemed like every like they're in front of like a bunch of people demonstrating it, and, and they say, okay, glass is like the, the kind of keyword, right? And they're saying, like, okay, glass okay glass and it just feel like like more and more i hear people hear it they, they, they it's it sounds like an annoying term you know what i mean um mm-hmm. oh fun experiment we did uh bobby in johnstown uh uh took a picture via my glass over hangout i let him know when i cued it and he said the okay glass take a picture oh huh. there i did just did it again um but <laughs> I mean, that, that's kind of interesting. Like, I mean, you couldn't mess with people. Like, again, it's not on all the time listening, but once you know, like, you see, like, somebody had just touched their thing, you know it's on that screen, and if you know the commands, there's not many at this point. Uh, Chachi, I know, I noticed an interesting thing with you. you. You started just kind of throwing other commands at it that didn't exist yet. Yeah, I, I just wanted to, I did. you never told me that it didn't have, or that those were the only commands it had. Mm-hmm. So I, I mean, uh, like I said, I'm not, I'm not the normal person. Like mm-hmm. when you hand me stuff, you hand me stuff, and it, it was just a coincidence at this point. But my whole purpose is to see how far I can take it. Yeah. Um. So the fact that it crashed as soon as you <laughs> handed it to me, 
saved me a lot of time. Yeah. Because I would have spent a decent amount of time trying to get it to crash anyhow. It, it's what I do. Like, I I don't know how to explain it. I, you push stuff to the limits. You're a tinker. Uh, we went... Where did we go? Uh, we were... Chris and I... No, not the zoo. We stopped by a Best Buy or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, not Chris and I. I forget. I think it was with you. Um, and, and I picked up one of the, the smartphones that I hadn't touched before, and I loaded everything I could possibly load mm-hmm. just to see how bad it was slowed down after you actually used it. Um, when we go to the Apple store, I spend time trying to get the, the iDevices to crash or uh, seeing what I can open and what I can do with it. I mean, it's just what I do. Um, so, it, yeah, I'm a tinkerer. Um, so when you handed it to me and you gave me very little information, I mean, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the screen where you give it commands, and I'm going to see what commands it will take. Because, I mean, the, I, ultimately, the more commands that it will take, the the better it will be. Mm-hmm. So, if because I mean, obviously, their their goal with this thing is to make it as much hands off as possible. Yeah, so I mean, you ha- you have you have hand controls, but I mean, ultimately, you you don't want the people to use them. Yeah, if yeah. you can help it. Yeah, yeah. If the whole thing worked on your voice, and you just like talk, and something happens and appears, and it's a heads up display, and it feels like you know when you're running and gunning in Call of Duty, you know, you have that thing up in right. the corner, right? Um, and they're basically very, you want you want to turn it into Jarvis. Basically, I mean, you think about Google now. I, I know Chachi, you've used it probably a bit more, um, and I don't know. I don't know, Mike, if you you dealt with it uh, on on uh, your your iDevices, uh, but like the Google Now stuff here, when I pop to the left, you know, the more it knows, the more it's going to tell me, the more it's going to help me out. More information, I'll gladly give it, so Google can have your information. Um, and it kind of it works out really well when it's right here. I I I, I uh, happened to uh, search for a location uh, that somebody was saying, "Hey, do you have the number or, or email address for this place out out by the mall?" I looked it up, and the next thing I knew, for like the next half a day, anytime I popped over to the left to the Google Now cards, I had uh, the traffic information going to that location that I searched on my computer. You know, and I pretty much live in Google, right? Like most of my apps on the phone are Google uh, on my iPhone. Uh, I, I'm in Chrome. I'm signed into all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, I, I'm in Google Plus and everything. Um, even more in Google Plus since I've been in this. Holy crap, it's, it's so connected. Um, uh, how many baseball scores are you still getting? I, I'm still getting just the Pirates. And actually, since they didn't play, I don't have anything coming up for them yet. All I really okay. have right now is uh, the weather. Uh, and it's not until I travel where it kind of tells, asks me, you know, pops up uh, restaurant information, which is interesting, too, because it pops up the restaurant restaurant information. I noticed that when we were in New York, and it would tell me, like, when they closed, like, say, it's 6, 7 o'clock, and saying, hey, this place is open till 10, this place is open to midnight, this place is open to 2 a.m. So you can kind of, you don't have to go look for it, right? Right. Um, You've got a lot of traffic updates. I got a lot of traffic updates, yeah. Yeah, I did have a little issue. Uh, apparently, whenever I use my Wi-Fi, it thinks I'm in West Newton, PA, even when I'm actually in New York City. So uh, that's been an issue. Uh, but again, like the stuff like that, again, I've been seeing a little bit more crashes. Um, stuff like I can respond to tweets. I can send pictures and video to tweets. I can't initiate a tweet. The only tweets that come to me are people that are, you know, at replying me, DMing me, or they're, you're on my notification list, which is just like, you know, specific people, right? Uh, Facebook, all I can do is send a picture. Google Plus, I can do, you know, a little bit of interaction. I, I think it's supposed to pop up when people plus one me and stuff or send me messages on Google Plus as well. I haven't seen much of that since I don't do too much interaction on, on Google Plus. Um, but it is it is really nice, like to the point where I spent the first four days saying, so how am I going to get the pictures off of this aside from sucking them up into Google Plus, right? Um but um I, well uh do you get your google chats on there i don't i don't when you get when you hit me up and hang out no it doesn't only oh, when okay. you call me on hangout does anything really happen so um it, it, so yeah it's kind of limited in that uh the web browser there's a web browser that was with the last version that loaded uh this past week all you can really do to get to it is 
uh, I have to Google search something that comes to a website. And then I click it and there's like a mobile version of the site and I can go through. And there's a few gestures for kind of scrolling around and and and, and uh, uh, picking links and stuff like that. It's a little awkward, uh, of course, but again, there's still, I mean, it's very 1.0. This is a whole different interface. I mean, you think about, you know, I have, I have taps, I have, you know, hold down gestures and that usually drops me right into a Google search uh, and then back and forth, up and downs. And then everything's like basically in a timeline. Like think about the old like Xbox interface where it was just a line and you kind of go up and down and there's more lines. Like that's kind of how you can think about the timeline when it comes to this kind of thing. And it's just full of, you know, tweets and emails at this point. Oh, emails I get are stuff that's marked important in Gmail. So if you're not completely living in Google at this point, you'll get less out of this, I think, until other people load other things. So... Well, that's not a problem for me. Yeah, no, you're all, if you're walking around with an Android device, you're all ready to go on this, and you get yep. more features than I do. I can't do I can't do driving directions yet. So, um, but you know, and SMSing. Um, Google is a friend of mine. <laughs> you're saying something, Mike? Uh, I was just wondering, do you think like now now that the beta of Google Glass is really out, do you think like? Apple or someone else is going to try and maybe like one up them before they can get it out to the general public. Well, you're already well. See, there's, there's <laughs> funny actually, that you brought that up. It's actually some stuff out there I'm hearing. Well, no, <laughs> um, Apple is actually looking at buying the company that made the Connect. I heard about uh, that today. Um, so yes, I do believe that Apple is going to try to release a device before Google can. <laughs> And there's all that's this funny. I actually hadn't heard that this wasn't a setup, folks. This was not a setup. I promise nice you unintentional segue. <laughs> and, and there are all, also all these rumors of uh, everybody doing smartwatches. That's kind of the other way of doing this. Like, this is kind of Google's way of saying, Hey, we're going to put that on your face. And everybody else says, We're going to do smartwatches. Either way, it tethers to your phone and you get notifications, right? Um, I mean, this is just a different way to go about it. And everybody's trying to figure out. What is the way that people are going to latch on to? Are people going to latch on to something like this? I, for one, am hoping it, we do get to the point where it does pop up where I can get one of these that's attached to my glasses. You know, um, you know, frankly, you know, whenever they do come out, they have another version of this that is like attached to prescription glasses. That is definitely going to pop up. Um, well, I think we also saw an example of that. Like, yes. Like even even a beta version of that at the at the glass headquarters, right? Yes, yes, and I appreciate that uh, Dutters is sending me the itty bitty polka dot bikini song or something. Is that what I'm seeing here? Oh no, no, no. <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, baby got back. I'm sorry. I'm yes, sorry. I have baby yes. got back in my face. Thank you. Nice. Uh, <laughs> baby got back in your face. In my face. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, she said, like, yeah, we're trying to get it so, you know, you'll have prescription glasses. There have been rumors of that, but she actually pointed, like, that guy over there has got them on. I'm like, oh, cool. Uh, so, so well, that's a lot more difficult than what they're doing yeah. right now. So, yeah. yeah. You know, I work with the right partner and see how it's attached. I've seen mods mm -hmm. that I can actually, it's not, it actually wouldn't be very hard to put these on your glasses in the long run. Um, because you look right here, and there's a little screw, just like, you know, you see on your glasses. So it's not like I, I kind of joke there, like, yeah, I'm going to get the, I'm going to tear this thing off and put it on my glasses when I get it. You can completely take it off. And I think the guy that I saw actually took little zip ties and, and stuck them to the side of his glasses. But the other point is, is too, if I do that now, then all those people say, hey, can I try it? You know, that function doesn't happen anymore. Also, it's really hard for somebody to say, hey, take those off. And I was like, well, right. I need them to see, you know. Uh, so then you run into a whole other kind of like, how do we deal with this? Um, other fun thing, and this might be something I might have to send a note to Google about. This seems to keep getting loose, like up in this area. And here, and I don't know. So it's, I, and this is the other thing. I've never seen a close-up view of these to really get an idea of what they look like, like uh, in the podcast and stuff that I've watched. Uh, so I want to give that to you guys right now. Um, so there's the idea. Like, this is actually a cube of glass. Plastic. I don't know. I don't know if it's real glass or what. It's like a prism kind of thing. Uh, so you see there's a little bit of an angle there, and that's how it kind of pops out to your face. Um, your power button's right here. Your little USB cord is right here. Um, 
out in here is actually a bone conducting speaker. Well, this is not really a speaker. It's just bone conduction is how the how it uh, uh, just kind of vibrates in your head, basically, right? We can still kind of hear it. I, th I think it kind of comes through this little button here, what I can't figure out. So, and and they said it's made of. Didn't she say it was made like this part was made out of titanium, so I can move it without breaking it and everything? I believe so. Yes. So, um, I I, th I think this is just the stopgap at this point. Uh, one of the early Verge videos I saw had like one of the prototypes, were, which was just large circuit boards on the side of somebody's head. Uh, so I mean, this is this is the point that they've gotten to now. They're kind of seeing how it is. They're going to perfect it, and they were very open about. It. They were like, "Hey, you know, let us know any thoughts you have." Right? Um, they're mm -hmm. like, "You have a bug report. You got a suggestion." I've seen people. I want to take my headphones off for them. Put while well, I put this back on. Uh, I, I I've seen people on their community. And on their uh, uh, Google Plus community that I was already a part of, um, just saying, this is a line of, like, somebody put, made a big article, this is how I think you can fix photo taking. Because he outlined it takes this many steps to do it this way, this way, or this way for video and photo. So, you know, this is what I think you could do. And he was suggesting, like, gestures you could do on the side and everything. Like, a, one interesting one was, what if a long swipe this way was a picture? So if I just go like this, I took your picture. Right, um, that could be interesting. But he was more of a photographer, so he had some interesting ideas on that. Um, so, and, and myself, I'm looking at the video side of it. Um, you know, you know, Chachi, you know, I, I was taking pictures on, on all of our shoots over the weekend, in kind of a POV kind of thing. And you know, hopefully, like I like this idea. I want to do it for like, you know, cooking shows and stuff like that. You know, uh, you know, things where people are very hands on. And we were already kind of spouting out some ideas. Uh, going into this, you know, um, you know, I, I like the idea of like, what if uh, I need to fix the car? I call my father or my father-in-law and get them in a Google Hangout and they instruct me, you know, because they can see what I'm doing and they can tell me no that thing over there, you know. And I think that's that's the really exciting part of this. So you could also do wonders for like IT. Yeah, IT. I, I think Chachi, you had kind of an idea about that too, right? Yeah, uh, I brought that up. Uh, as sheets. Yeah. So, um, I, yeah, there's, there could be some cool applications to this. I saw one of the apps that they have, uh, somebody wrote, actually is using facial recognition to help bring up uh, medical records. And obviously this is something that I think would be, you know, in a, you know, th that certain set medical setting, you know. Uh, but that's a pretty interesting idea. So, you know, kind of an idea where this is going to go from here, right? So, Awesome. Um, anything else you guys want to bring up about it and your experiences with it? Any questions or anything? Uh... Um, I, I do have to say one more thing. It's more, it's more of a joke, but I, I feel I have to bring it up. Mm -hmm. It looks like you're wearing a scouter from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> that's kind of the first thing. Uh, yeah, it's definitely kind of the first thing with it, isn't it? Um, I, I mean, I, 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 you know, over the weekend, like, you know, I'm thinking, like, you know, every time I took a picture, and I was mostly taking the pictures just with the button. Like, that was like, oh, boom, 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 you know? Uh, I felt like Cy Cyclops when he's with the visor, you know? Uh, <laughs> something would pop up, like a tweet or something. And uh, I, 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 I think I said to you several times, like, man, I kind of feel like Robocop. I kind of feel like Terminator at this point. Information just popped up, right? Uh, so, I, you know, it, it is kind of the realization of all that kind of stuff in an interesting way, you know? Uh, I, I've had a few Twitters call me t a cyborg, you know, or how's it feel being a cyborg or whatnot. Uh, that's been fun. Uh, so, but that kind of goes with it, right? So, uh, I, I've been pretty much wearing it nonstop uh, the last couple of days. Uh, I, I'm going to, I, I got some interesting meetings coming up, so I'm going to kind of uh, uh, take it with me and see what happens there, too. You know, I, I want to kind of see that, that social barrier, you know, see how people react to it in different environments. You know, I, I go for a meeting with somebody, I want to have it on and just like, see what happens, you know, and hope it doesn't distract too much from whatever business is supposed to be at hand. Uh, but I, I consider this, I, I honestly, you know, for this, and I just got another one. Uh, I honestly consider this, uh, you know, kind of part of my business is to kind of look forward to see what you can do with devices like this, uh, with video and everything and social media. And, you know, what if we did these podcasts and, and we had like, you know, Chachi, you got a Chachi cam. You know, uh, or something like that. Um, we, we can have a lot of fun with it. So, or or 
think about it this way. How many times have I wanted just kind of like a camera over your shoulder while you're showing me something on the phone? Got taken care of right here, right? We just toss this guy into a hangout. I throw it on one of these computers that we're using for a camera like I'm using you guys. And all of a sudden, I can look down at my phone and you can see exactly what I'm talking about with this game or app or something. You know, what about Let's Play videos? We can do a hangout. Here's a camera on my face on my laptop. I put it in a hangout with my Google Glass, which is pointed at the video game I'm playing. And then there you go. A nice, quick, dirty, simple, you know, other than the fact that you got a device that, you know. You could do it for all of Chachi Plays. There you go. We can have a Chachi Plays camp. That could be fun. That could be fun. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> On that note, guys, uh, that, that's, uh, it's kind of become the Google Glass show, but I kind of expected it to uh, this first go around here. Uh, and, and I'm going to have, like I said, I'm going to have this for a bit. So I, I, I hope uh, on this show and through my blog and everything, and you guys see my pictures on Twitter, uh, I can kind of share. Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's Locutus, Loc Locutus of Sorg, says uh, Tom Bobbitt in the chat room. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all the sci-fi references are going to get pulled out on this one. Um, but yeah, I'm going to update, you know, any, any interesting stories or anything I want to share here on the show uh, and, and through the blog and everything. I have, I have like my first impressions kind of half written just because of my schedule the last couple of days. But I uh, hope to have something there uh, the, you know, before the end of the week and hopefully something uh, ideas and, 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 and experiences with it uh, kind of weekly over there at Sorgatron.com. Uh, uh, so, uh, and, uh, and yeah, if anybody's got any questions or anything on it, please let me know. Uh, so, hey, Mike, thanks for joining us. I, you know, and, and thanks for joining me on the experience there, uh, last Thursday. Oh, it was lots of fun. I just wish they let us keep our badges. I know, right? They were the nicest badges. <laughs> that they, were, anyway, <laughs> they were and, and this fancy. guy, they're offering, they're offering you a beer and they're offering us, a uh, 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 champagne, champagne and wine. I went for a beer. I feel kind of weird drinking wine. I don't know. Uh, but this guy goes for a water. I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, and you know what? It was just tap water. I was a little upset. Just tap water. I mean, you know, not like a bottle of baby on nothing like that. I was like, oh, yeah, here's something from tap. I'm like, well. Damn it, Mike. If Google offers well. you a beer, you drink the beer. Mm hmm. Not bad beer, Shriners. <laughs> I verified it through our beer snob friends. Uh, Chachi, you are I found, there. We are uh, at Chachi says insert coin to begin dot com. Yep, fellow glasses. Google Glass free. Google Glass free, but you will be. We're we're gonna work on something with you. Yes. So look for the uh, the Chachi Glass experiment in the coming. As soon as weeks. you're done with it. As soon as I'm done with it. So awesome. Like I don't know. If, I don't know. If done with it will be the word. Just a break. You know, take a break from my face. So. That might happen sooner than later. It was nice to see I didn't get, like, a headache or anything from wearing it. Yeah, uh, well, you know, as I did go for the Tylenol uh, there later in the evening, right? Um, I think that was due more to sleep deprivation. Oh, there was, there was probably sleep deprivation as well, but uh, <laughs> it definitely, it, it definitely, when I put the glasses, like the, uh, the, the sunglasses on it, it weighs heavy on the brow, it seems. And, and I, I definitely got a little bit. I'm definitely getting a little bit right now from wearing it throughout the day. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. You know, my, as I sacrifice my face for science, uh, with that guys, it's the awesome cast. If you have any questions or anything, hit us up at contact at awesomecast.com, Google plus Facebook at awesomecast on Twitter as well. Uh, you can also, uh, you know, check out the show on iTunes and the audio forums. And I think videos on there too, actually blip TV, uh, Roku box on blip TV, uh, Stitcher as well. Uh, and YouTube, subscribe, like, and share with your friends on any of those if you're digging the show uh, with that. Uh, so, guys, thanks, Mike, from the Bronx, joining us, as well as Chachi, as usual. Uh, this is Sorg. Thanks to our awesome chat room. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week.